Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you my What Do They Need transfer series in the January transfer window. If you don't know how it works, basically I get your guys' opinions on either YouTube or Twitter. My Twitter link is in the description. It's at Melvin7, the same as my YouTube channel. And basically, you, I go through what your club, what I think and what you think your club needs. Now, obviously, if you're a fan of any of these clubs, then you may disagree you may also agree with some of the points, but that's the idea. It's supposed to be a discussion, kind of. So, I've spoken to a lot of Villa fans. One of them gave a fantastic comment on Twitter, and a few others have gave some good opinions. So, I'm going to go through their team first, since they're currently bottom of the league. Now, first and foremost, they need a miracle. Something like Leicester City or Sunderland had before them. Particularly Leicester, though, because they had a ridiculous string of form, and they've continued that this year. And obviously, they're second on goal difference behind Arsenal in the league. But they were stranded at the bottom of the league and they somehow turned it around. Sunderland did the year before as well. So that's first and foremost what Villa need. Now, five key signings that they want. I know a lot of their fans will want an entire new 11 and that's fair enough. But realistically, that isn't going to happen. So in goal, they've only really got Guzan. They don't have anyone that can compete with him. If he has a bad game, he's pretty much safe in goal. So they need either a replacement or a backup in goal. They also need a left back because Amabi is injured. So... They definitely need that. Right back, Hutton has been okay, he's just made some stupid mistakes. The centre backs, a couple of mistakes here and there, but it's not really a key issue in the team at the minute. The defence, the main issue is the left back. CDM also, because Westwood isn't amazing and Sanchez, Carlos Sanchez, is injured, so a CDM would be another priority. A winger, an experienced one anyway, because they've got Adama and Sinclair who are great. Good prospects, but they need a proven winger who can cross the ball because Rudy Gested is a good striker up, uh, up front who can head the ball better than most in the in this league. But they don't have anyone that can cross him a quality ball. So a winger, an experienced one who can cross, would be another priority. And it, again, striker because of the fact they don't currently have a winger. There's no real point in playing Rudy Gested because he never gets you know the crosses delivered in unless they're from a corner or a set piece. Ad uh, I was going to say Adama. I mean, um, Traore, uh, it's not Traore, Jesus Christ, Ayu, Jordan Ayu has been good up front, but they do need a partner. They're linked with Luoc Remy, and I know Chelsea have said that they won't sell anyone in January, but Chelsea, whatever they say, usually they do the opposite. That's what's happened in the past, and there will be many teams after Luoc Remy. Hell, I'm a Man United fan, and I would love him as a backup, because I think he is a quality goal scorer, and I think it's a bit of a crime that he doesn't get more games for Chelsea, given how bad... Diego Costa has been this season. So yeah, Villa, a striker. Luoc Remy would be very hard to acquire. But if they did, then that would be fantastic. If not Luoc Remy, then they just need another striker. Someone who can partner IU because he has been good. But obviously they need a lot more. So the five key signings that I've went through are goalkeeper, a backup, a replacement. Doesn't really matter. Just someone who can make Guzan potentially better. Uh, left back, CDM an experienced winger who can cross, and a striker. Do you agree with me? Do you not? I think Remy God has been very unlucky with the squad that he's uh, got from Sherwood. There's a lot of holes in it. It seems to be a bit disjointed. I think he is a good coach. He might be able to turn it around if he gets the correct signings in. Also, Sherwood had a hard time because Benteke wanted to leave, Delft wanted to leave, and that didn't help matters. But it can be done, as I've said. Sunderland and Leicester City have proved this, but also teams like Derby have proved that sometimes it's a little bit too much. So can Villa do it? They've got a chance, but realistically the odds are stacked against them and they need to act fast. But yeah, Sunderland will be the next episode, so let me know any comments if you are a fan of Sunderland. If not, you can still let your comments what you think they need in January. I'll upload that later today. Let me know how you think this went. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.